from the very beginning when I first started making records, at the very beginning, I just didn't, I was very suspicious of anything that was not piano and voice and maybe like upright bass. My records are sort of made like Lego things. It would be really bad if they were like one piece of stone and you had to chisel it perfect right away. It's good when you could just make things up in Legos and then take it down and take off a whole side and make it with a different color. I am always afraid in the beginning that some sort of a story will be obscured or some emotion will be lost. It's a healthy fear because I think sounds and, and, and just doing things because they're cool or they sound cool to you um, can obscure it, but that's why it takes so long to make a record. But some of the greatest things that I've, I've ever experienced musically have been through me being wary of them at first and then like, and then trying them. When I'm working, it's as if there's like this map and I have to follow it. And when I start going the wrong way, I get, I feel that it's the wrong way and then I have to find the right way even though it's something that's not been created yet. I find that the more that I play around, the more I hit something that's exciting, and then I start really trying to, to work on it. But it comes out of a moment of playing around. They're malleable for a little bit, and, and it's interactive for a little bit, and then songs just get stuck, and I feel really strongly about where they stop. I guess if I went through all of the songs I've ever written, I could sort of group certain types of songs now together and I could have a whole record of songs that are more related to each other or a show where songs are all related to each other. But that would sort of be a nightmare, you know, for me, because one doesn't feel complete without the other, without the other. Like they sort of build on each other to, to have a show or to have a record where you feel like, some sort of an experience is complete. There's a lot of fear like, oh, this is too complicated or this won't be understood or this will be considered pretentious or... And I do hear those comments sometimes. They're gonna think you're pretentious, that, you know, and... And I just wanna say, God, people are smart and cool and most of the time I just think I wanna make stuff good enough for them, interesting enough for them. And I really feel like I have something to say that's in my own voice, with my own perspective. I love being with people so much and I, I have so much fun. And then I love being by myself and I have so much fun. But I would never want to just be in my room making little you know, songs just on my own and wandering the streets alone and making observations. But I spend half of my time doing that. The other half, I love to just look at a ton of faces and just talk to people and find out what they're thinking and how they're doing and really be with people. So it's, it's cool that I get to do both. <laughs> First of all, to go back would be like, it's, I left it as a child and I left it when it was still Soviet Union. And now it's like a whole other country and I'm an adult or as much of an adult as I've mustered. And, um, and so it's, I don't know, it's very, it's, I know it's going to be a very intense experience, so I think I'm just delaying it because I'm already having so many intense experiences that I, like, how many intense experiences can my heart handle, you know, before I just go up in an intense poof of smoke, you know, so I'm, I think I'm going to wait a little bit more.